So this is it, my life packed for the next eight weeks or so. All right guys, time has come on our merry way. I've just walked into my room and... All right, so this vlog is starting where my previous vlog ended. I just arrived in my new accommodation at the hospital that I'm staying at for the next eight weeks. It is almost 8 p.m. And I need to unpack, so enjoy this time lapse of me unpacking all of my clothes and my food and everything like that. And yeah, stay tuned, I'll give you guys a full tour of everything, the kitchen, the living room, all that stuff. But first things first, let me unpack. Scrubs managed to make it. Got him right here in the corner to watch over me. Hi honey, how's it going? It feels so weird putting bathroom stuff in my actual room. All right, I've managed to unpack pretty much everything that I'm gonna unpack in my room. So let me show you guys. I've got my hospital related things over here. It includes this coffee flask, portable speaker, some electronics, medicine book, got my laptop and my iPad for my working area on my desk. This is all kitchen stuff that I'm gonna go and unpack. And then yeah, just like my pajamas, socks and underwear over there. Closet, got it filled with my t-shirts, shorts, running stuff in the back, shirts, jackets, and I'm just hiding my suitcases there for now. This is such a weird concept, having a sink in your room. I mean, I guess I've just put everything here so I don't need to go into the shared bathroom. So I've messaged a couple of the other guys and they're chilling in one of the rooms next door gonna go see what they're up to and then probably unpack my kitchen stuff and cook some dinner so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit Peace. all right so I'm just unpacking all of my food into my designated closet and I come across this that is all mold inside of the bread packets that is absolutely disgusting <sighs> cakes, pasta, instant coffee, protein powder, pistachios, ground coffee that I'm almost out of, olive oil, tea, a mug, Tupperwares, plate. All right, that is looking much, much better. And then in the fridge, got my own shelf, got my pasta, celery sticks, eggs, bread, and apples. But yeah, this kitchen is Absolutely disgusting. Horrible. Like, what is this? Great. All right, pretty much all unpacked. I'm going to go meet the guys, grab something quick to eat from the Tesco, and then, yeah, see what we get up to for the rest of the night. This is my room. This is where I'm going to be staying for eight weeks. Oh, gosh. Peace. Good morning, guys. So it's the next morning. I've already started preparing my breakfast a little bit. Got everything laid out here on the table and I'm about to put my little omelet mix into the pan. I'm up pretty early. It's around eight now. Surprisingly, we are the only block that doesn't have to go into the hospital today. So we just have lectures online for mental health and psychiatry, whereas women's health and emergency and critical care medicine both have to go into the hospital today. So I'm just gonna make my coffee. I'm gonna make my breakfast, drink my coffee. <laughs> and sort of settle in a little bit, go online and see what we've got to do and then move on from there. It's so strange having like two pieces of cutlery, two bowls, one pan. I feel like I'm so purposeful with what I choose and take out of this closet. Definitely a big change from being at home with everything right there wherever I need it. All right, so that is breakfast all cooked and sorted. I've got my classic egg omelet uh, with tomato, cheese and spinach, or kale or whatever, some sort of salad. Got my coffee, obviously very necessary. Also can't forget celery sticks as a snack. I'm just gonna sit down and watch a video while I demolish this. And then I've checked online, but I can't see what lectures we have scheduled or what we're actually supposed to be doing today. It just says attend lectures. Just gonna have some breakfast first and get started with the day. Oh my God, look at this sport. I know, you kind of feel horrible. I get an IMG study from the USMLE and you feel really horrible for feeling this different. Oh my God, very quick sideline. But when I was studying for my USMLE exam, every single video that I watched on YouTube, I would get this advert over here. Video starts with, have you failed the USMLE exam? Oh my God, don't worry, I'm here to help you. And the whole time when I was studying, I was like, I don't wanna watch an ad about failing the USMLE exam. And now, thank God, I'm done. I've passed the exam, happy with my score. Like, I don't need to worry about any of this. 
Oh, what a throwback, what a random throwback. Speak of the devil, we just got the email about our lectures for today and Thursday. So I actually know what I'm gonna be doing. Great. So today on Monday, we've got orientation, induction, blah, blah, you guys can see that here. And then on Thursday, this is our schedule. Okay, so today's lecture start at 9.30, so I'm happy that I woke up early. It's currently 10 to nine. I think I'm just gonna go wash up. Come in. Oh, someone knocked at the door. So I'm just gonna go wash up my plates from breakfast and then come back here, settle myself down, figure out where I wanna put everything, just how I wanna tackle my studying in this room um, and then get started with that. All right guys, so I realized that I haven't actually told you why I'm here in my fourth year of medical school. I haven't really explained what's going on. So basically in your fourth and fifth years of medical school at King's College London, you're no longer necessarily attached to the three big central London hospitals that are attached to King's. That'd be St. Thomas's and Guy's Hospital, King's College London Hospital, and then Lewisham and Queen Elizabeth Hospitals. So those are the three ones that you get attached to as a second and third year medical student. Once you enter fourth and fifth year, you can get placed pretty much anywhere around Around south of England. So I know from now where I'm going to be for the rest of my fourth year of medical school and my fifth year of medical school. I've been moved here. I'm here on clinical placement for eight weeks for my mental health and psychiatry block. So personally, as much of an annoyance as it is to be taken from my home where I've become so comfortable and I have everything that I need over there and moving into somewhere like this that's obviously a lot smaller. I haven't really got anything bad to say. I'm pretty settled in here now having met everyone that's on the on the floor with me sharing the same flat. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna settle in and get working on these lectures. So I've just muted my laptop for a second so I can show you what it is that I'm doing here in my setup. Very very happy that I brought both my iPad and my desktop because I can use my iPad as a second screen. So currently on the left we're having an introductory zoom call sort of outlining what the block is going to be like for us and down here I've got my to-do list and then on the right here I've got my notes and things that I'm doing and actively referring to when listening to that zoom lecture over there. I'm gonna put you guys over here and hopefully you enjoy this time lapse and I'll catch up with you in a bit. It's been a couple of hours now. It is currently 11.30. And we're just having the final induction lecture about infection control. I think what I'm gonna do now is have a quick catch up with Alexia because we haven't spoken yet today. And then I'm gonna cook some lunch, edit the video for this Thursday, which is not ready, but it's a study with me video, which I know you guys have been requesting a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm excited to get it up once I eventually edit it. So yeah, see you. All right, morning lectures are over and we've got a one hour break now for lunch. So I'm gonna quickly whip up some food. I'm gonna make brown rice with chicken and peppers. I don't think I have anything else if I'm honest. I'll make a small salad as well. But yeah, I don't have that much time. So I need to whip that up real quick and then get back to more afternoon lectures. What's up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to my cooking channel. I've managed to finesse myself a pretty decent meal I'd say. It's a chicken stir fry, well not stir fry, just chicken cooked in teriyaki sauce and peppers with some brown rice. I've got a nice salad over there and then apples as a snack. Given the very limited utilities that are in our kitchen, I'm going to give myself an A star for this meal. I'm just going to wolf it down. Our lectures are starting in exactly one minute, so I'm just going to put them on in the background while I eat this and try and soak in as much as I can, write down anything that I need to get done after these lectures end. For you guys here, I wish I brought my bigger camera with the much wider lens because it's quite cramped in here. You guys will be able to see a lot more, but you can tune into the next vlog for that. This is an actual okay. lecture. No, I think it's about to start. Okay. So Quick update, I've now finished lunch and we've started with the second half of the day worth of lectures. I'm currently doing a little bit of multitasking. I have got my lecture on the left over here. We're learning about autism spectrum disorder, which is quite interesting. Then on the right here, I have a little editing setup where I'm going through a couple of edits while also paying attention to the lecture. And then over here, 
I've got little Alex here keeping me company, being my study with me buddy. I think later on a couple other people are gonna go down to the shops and I'm gonna go with them because I need to buy a couple of things. I've realized I'm missing a couple of things from the kitchen and also I wanna get like proper soap to use in this sink as well. And then I would really, really like to go for a run later today. I've heard that there's some good running areas here. There's like a river or like stream somewhere, um, a bunch of grassy areas. So I wanna go for a run and discover that a little bit. So a couple other people living in the flat have messaged in the group chat saying that they're gonna go for a walk in the surrounding like fields and forests, which sounds like a really great idea right now. So I'm gonna get dressed and go head out to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna see where everyone else is, figure out what's going on and update you when I can. six and it's already like pitch black outside i don't know if you can see but yeah it's completely dark anyways completely done with our shopping now i'm pretty hungry but i'm gonna go for a run first because you can't run after you eat you gotta run before you eat so i'm just gonna get dressed and head out now it's pretty cold but nothing a hoodie and a jacket will make up for and then after that i'm gonna be cooking dinner i decided to make just like a classic bolognese pasta because i'm gonna need dinner for tonight and tomorrow night and then i'm heading back to london because it's the induction week where most of our teaching is done online and the next week i'm here for full proper clinical placement three days a week going to the hospital seeing patients etc 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 i'm pretty excited to be going for a run in a new area when i run in london i run pretty much the exact same path every single time because I know that it's exactly 10 kilometers and I know exactly how long it's gonna take me and if you're someone who counts all of the minutes that are in your day and you try and schedule things very very specifically well then that helps quite a lot when you guys see me next I'm gonna be drenched in sweat and yeah I'll catch you in a bit <sighs> oh my goodness nice solid 10k run I think it was a 5.30 pace. Not very fast, but it was very, very dark. It's very dark, unless I'm on this main road. All I can see is like farmland. Very, very different to running in central London. I was like running down this road, and then I suddenly realized like, I can't see anything around me. It is pitch black. This is not how I'm gonna die. <laughs> so I turned around and went another way. Anyways, feeling pretty hungry. So I'm gonna jump straight in the shower and get to cooking dinner. It was also freezing. Oh my gosh, look at the message that I just got. The paper that we wrote over the summer, the one we collected data for pretty much all of last year has been accepted for publication. Let's go! I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Amazing news. So since COVID-19, it's a thing this year, a lot of the mandatory hospital training that we would normally do in person on a hospital site has now been moved to online. And so I'm currently going through quite a lot of those things now, making sure I'm familiar with the systems that I'm going to be using once I'm in the hospital. For example, here in this hospital, apparently there's an electronic method of recording observations on an iPad, which is really, really cool because usually you use like a paper form for a news chart, either news one or news two. So yeah, I thought this would take like an hour or two to complete everything, but apparently it's taking a lot longer than that. So I'm just currently chugging away and working through those different sections and different videos. So yeah, enjoy the time lapse. I don't remember when I last picked up the camera, but I went and made dinner in the kitchen with Shahir, which was really fun. Sat down at the table and just chatted for like an hour and a half. And then Shahir came up with the great idea of going to get some dessert. So we went to Tesco and picked up a little bit of ice cream. Boy. He just picked up the big ones. Fun little outing and back to the accommodation. All right guys, back in my room now. It's the end of a very long day. 
I'm finally pretty much moved in here. Everything is in its correct place. Met quite a few other people who are living in this flat. Everyone seems really nice and I'm looking forward to getting to know them over the next couple of weeks. But yeah, it's getting a little bit late now. So I think I'm going to close off the vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and watching me move into this completely new place somewhere I've never been before and where I'm going to be for my mental health block over the next eight weeks. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like on it and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. And that's it. Stay tuned for the upcoming vlog. See you guys in the next one. Peace.